Wheels hum soft beneath the moonlit sky A whisper of stars, no engine cries Metal gleams like liquid gold A story new A body old Electric dream, silent stream, gliding where the oceans gleam. Electric heart, classic soul, a future born from sun. Hi, my name's Andy and you're in my 1971 Volkswagen Squareback that I've recently converted to an EV. It's now powered by a Model S motor and the job's been completed by electric dream machine. I've only had it on the road for a couple of days and I'm still exploring its potential but so far we're very happy with the result. Um, the first thing that attracted me to this particular vehicle was in 1978 when I was in California, young bloke of 26 travelling around the world and I knew I was going to be in California for some time so I wanted a vehicle that I could uh, sleep in. Um, this was a nice small car, you could fold the back seats down and comfortably sleep in the back, uh, economical to run and I picked up one exactly the same model as this for 1800 bucks in 1978. I used to travel uh, up and down the west coast of the US, up through uh, Oregon and Washington, and uh, I had a, developed a strong affinity for it, uh, tightly connected with the meeting of my wife in uh, Newport Beach, California. I actually bumped into her in a laundromat on April Fool's Day in 1978 and so uh, we managed to spend a fair bit of time driving around together and uh, I've just formed a strong bond with the car back in that, that era. Now that it's an EV with a bit more weight in it with the batteries it, uh, it really hugs the road and uh, on the Great Ocean Road you can just glance out at the ocean and uh, the car's comfortable, low, stable, quiet. It's just an enjoyable ride and it's bringing back a lot of memories for me actually. And so, uh, yeah, it's uh, cementing my bond with this vehicle. I think I've made a great choice and I think uh, I've done a good thing because I put an old car back on the road and uh, it's just such a joy to drive this EV now. I'll definitely be spending more time in this, I think, than, uh, than my Tesla. A vehicle of uh, this vintage that's uh, linked up with some high-tech running gear. We've had to uh, redo all the brakes, redo all the suspension, made a huge difference right at the end was one of the last things we did was redo all the suspension which has again made the vehicle so nice and tight and firm and the uh, the weight of the batteries just make it plant on the road it's uh, you really have to drive it to appreciate just how solid and stable the platform it is we went to a a VW day just last week out at the uh, Yarra Glen race course and I reckon there might have been yeah five or seven hundred cars there Volkswagens there a um, few type threes not a lot Carmen gears plenty of Beetles there was a lot of interest in this 
Uh, I think there's a lot of purists that may frown at the fact that I've converted this to an EV, but uh, I have no qualms about what I've done because I really believe in the marriage of technology and the history of the vehicles. I think uh, the main thing, the main reason I undertook this project was because I want to get on with my life and do the things that I feel are important to me. And this was a project very dear to my heart because it's connected me to my formative years with my wife. Uh, and I've recently been to a couple of commemorations of life of close friends that have been taken too early. And I'm in my 70s now, so I'm going to get on with it and do what I want. And uh, as the saying goes, life's like a toilet roll. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. So that's why, get on with it. Do it now while you can. The faster I go, the more I move. A blur whispers nothing to prove. Quite silent, like shadows in the night. An electric ninja out of sight. Pocket rocket takes me there. Zipping through the city, yeah. No one sees me, no one knows. Where I stop. Secret.